I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day Cashing in my dreams, big payout Underneath my money tree, big shade out Now these my Hey freaking flyers, welcome back to another plan with me video. Today sitting down to plan for November of 2021. Apologies in advance for you all. I did not realize while filming that my lighting was on the incorrect setting. So there is a harsh glare on most of the video. However, you will be able to see the spreads in their entirety. So no worries there. However, as always, let's look in the back and see how my October spreads grew throughout the month. October was so busy with Vlogtober going on. There was little to no time to do anything else. Like the whole month was literally spent editing and filming and editing and filming. So for November, I was actually really unsure about what direction I wanted to go in and I sat on it for a long time before I finally settled on this um, sort of tribal inspired arrows and feathers theme for November. I saw an inspiration piece and I just kind of went with it and ran. However, I did not plan in advance. So it took me twice as long, almost two hours to complete these spreads because I was literally making it up as I go went. So there was like a lot of pausing and redirecting and pausing and redirecting to get this done. So this was truly a labor of love. Under the November header, I'm basically drawing a series of feathers that are hanging below like a pole or a branch. I'll insert the inspiration clip so you all can see where it came from. I just kind of condensed it because hashtag lazy. But the feathers were actually a lot easier to draw um, than I anticipated once I kind of figured out what direction I wanted to go in with them. The color scheme for this month was just a series of earth tones, so some greens, browns, oranges, and grays. The quote for this month reads, direction is so much more important than speed. And this is where I also took the opportunity to pull in some more of those geometric figures as well as the arrows. And then I just started using my stencil and filling in a lot of the negative space that was left on the page. Moving on to my calendar spread, I have to be honest with you all, it took me so long to kind of sketch out the grids for this month because I wanted to make individual calendar boxes. And it took me so long planning it that I thought I wanted to freehand draw the lines to help speed up the time until I did the headers freehand. And then I was like, uh, yeah, no. So I'm just using a straight edge to help me uh, make the lines a little bit crispier.
finished all of the calendar boxes, the headers, and threw in the calendar dates. I just pulled over the same November title in a similar font as the cover page and then accented the rest of the calendar pages with some stickers, some more arrows, and other um, items from the sticker pack. pages so this first one is a blank calendar that I'll use to work on my bid for December for those of you who may be new here as a flight attendant I bid for my schedule every month and that involves looking at all of the available trips and sort of mapping them out to see which ones I would be interested in working it just makes the process a lot easier when you look at it on paper so that's why I use a blank calendar and I have the reference because I have every single month in this book from this entire year and on the right side I just have a space that is left over to uh, capture any notes that I might need throughout the month a bit of negative space left so I decided to just fill that in with another one of those uh, feathers that I use from the cover page and lastly is my uh, weekly spreads the last couple of months you all I have uh, been doing more of a monthly spread but I've decided that this month I'm going back to individual pages for each of the weeks to give myself more space to kind of plan things out I do have a lot going on as we round out the end of 2021 and begin planning for 2022 so I just want to give myself adequate space to really put in a to-do list that's going to be functional for me this is the beauty of the bullet journal is you make it the way you want it and so I'm going to be cutting my pages so that I can just put a monthly calendar on the right margin and then the pages will all fold over to the left with there being like a different page for each week of the month I decided to go with a horizontal layout with each day of the week getting its own horizontal bar and similar to how I've done it in the past couple of weeks there will be a spot for me to capture my to-do list and all of the tasks that need to be accomplished that day then there'll be a space for me to uh, note any events that are happening appointments and meetings and then lastly there's a column for things that are due and this is more so typically I use it for financial purposes to keep track of what bills are being paid or need to be paid on the specific days of the month. And here's our final flip through for November. Thanks for watching. See you next time.